Each player still playing at this time of year has big dreams to raise the trophy and to cut down the nets. Shooting for greatness aimed at the sky. I won't know till I try. Reigning Patriot League champion and top seeded Colgate, no stranger to this stage. The Raiders focus on the mission at hand to take care of business. Colgate back to the Patriot League championship round for the fifth year in a row. Second seeded Navy will give it all to make this opportunity count. The midshipmen had to survive overtime in their semifinal. Navy on to the championship game for the first time since 2001. Dreams about to become reality for one of these teams tonight. presented by Kubota. Big dreams alive here in the village of Hamilton, New York. About an hour or so outside of Syracuse, home of the Patriot League powerhouses of recent years, the Colgate Raiders try to chase another league title against the Navy midshipmen, looking to go to the dance for the first time in over two decades. Both teams advancing here, the top two seeds making it through Colgate Two comfortable wins by 20 or more in the last two rounds. Navy, two close wins, including semifinal survival in overtime. Last time out. Hi there, Jason Knapp here. It's raucous alongside Mo Kassarek. Glad to have you with us for this one. Mo, Colgate, one of the hottest teams in the nation. 14 straight wins. Last loss for the Raiders was back in January. The closest game in that winning wave was against these mids here about 12 days ago. What do you expect this time around? Well, Colgate's been here before. Their fifth straight Patriot League championship game. They're experienced and they know how to win. For Navy, it's their first time on this big stage, but they're tough, physical, and hard-nosed. We are in for a great game tonight. And a wonderful contrast of styles between these teams. Colgate offensively, they can carve you up any which way, averaging over 76 points per game. If you take one thing away, they will look to take advantage all the time. You take away a ball screen, they'll keep driving the ball. Number one in the Patriot League in assists, they share the basketball. They're number two in the United States, in the country, in three-point shooting percentage. They share it. They look for each other. Oliver Lynch Daniels, number one in the Patriot League. So Colgate leads the league in scoring and shooting in threes, and Navy is the best at taking away all of those things. How about the mids? Top ten in the country defensively. They will challenge every shot. They turn defense into offense, and they can get out and run. They jump in passing lanes, and they really know how to take it, get it down the court, out of their defense, and score. Well, how about some guys to keep an eye on in this one, including Tucker Richardson? Mr. Do Everything, first team all Patriot League, first team all defensive. He can shoot it, score, really knows how to win. He's the leader for the Raiders. John Carter Jr., senior for the mids, leading score and elevating his game of late. One of the better all-around players in the Patriot League, versatile, but his scoring will be needed tonight for the mids to win here in Hamilton. Well, some of the recent champions of the Patriot League, who's going to join them? Will Colgate do it for a third time in five years, or can Navy get it done for the first time in almost a quarter century? Pumped and ready to go. Some of the Colgate football team on hand to see if their Raiders can get it done against the midshipmen. Top two seeds ready to go toe to toe. And for more on the two head coaches, let's check in with a third member of our team, Jenny Dow. Well, we've got six seniors on this Colgate squad who's helped lead this Raiders team to their fifth straight championship appearance, winning three titles, two NCAA tournament appearances. Coach Langle, he told me that this group is motivated by the moment that they're feeling right now. He called them proven winners. Now, on the flip side, this is the first for a Navy senior class. Two weeks ago, Coach Tuchelis changed the combination to the locker room to 1998, a reminder of the last time the Mids won the Patriot League championship and made the NCAA tournament 1998. It's been a while, guys. He told me it was a motivational play. So, guys, two teams on opposite sides of the spectrum as far as experience goes, but going after one common goal, and that's a 
championship win tonight. Jenny, thanks. We'll see if Navy has the right combination tonight. You look at the starting lineups brought to you by Kubota. Four, Colgate, front five, all average, double figure scoring, led by Nellie Cummings, about 15 per game. John Carter, the only mid to average 10 or more. Richard Njoku, the captain, all defensive team pick in the center for Navy for the second straight year. Third meeting of the year for these teams. Colgate won both. Comfortably down in Annapolis, a lot closer, five-point game. Navy had a shot to tie it late, a couple of free throws sealed it. You've got two 20-win teams going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, both with a road win against an ACC team this year. Navy over Virginia. Syracuse fell to Colgate, both with another, love another crack at a big-time squad of the big dance run underway as the mids control the tip, and Richardson active right away. This place is loud. There's a lot on the line. March Madness in Hamilton. Both teams going to play man-to-man -man defense, and let me tell you, it is going to be physical tonight. Colgate fans knowing how to hit Navy where it hurts with the goal. Army side here. Again, early on, our officiating crew, Bill McCarthy, Mike McCluskey, Michael Lucky, just trying to make sure everything is set clockwise here with that reset of the shot clock with only nine seconds going along. They'll get things figured out. Again, Mo, these teams again, know each other well. You got great offense, good defense on one end, but the experience level you touched on, first few minutes you kind of feel here really important for Navy. Especially important offensively. Defensively, that's what they do. They're going to dig down and they're going to guard, but offensively, get a couple good looks, maybe try to get to the foul line, share the basketball a little bit, get everybody a touch. Something to keep an eye on. Ed DeCellis, when we talked to him at the shoot around today, he said his guys were a little quiet today. Again, they've been in big games. They won the road to start the season at Virginia in front of a big crowd after basically not playing in front of anybody last season during COVID. In the Army-Navy game, every year is a big crowd, a lot of attention and pressure. We're trying to get somewhere where nobody from Annapolis has been in nearly 25 years is a big story. Carter right away, side rim. Nellie Cummings trying to battle for it out of bounds. It'll be Navy basketball. Contested three-point shot, probably not what Navy wants, but let me tell you, they're going to go to the offensive glass every possession, and Matt Langle knows that's going to be a big key tonight. Box out and find the basketball. One of the first things he told us during their morning get together. Again, limiting Navy's second chance points. Mids number one in the conference in offensive rebounds, close to 12 per game. Austin in sophomore from Greensboro, for the Joku, senior from Washington, D.C. And this Colgate team can get steals in a variety of positions. Their four starters average over a steal per game. The other guy on the floor is the block leader, Keegan Record, setting the screen right there in the lead. Ryan Mock. Leaving inside for records. Good hands back out for Jack Ferguson. Cummings the fake inside the arc. Drains the two. This From team shares the basketball, Jason. 30 assists in their quarterfinal game against Bucknell. They will make the extra pass for a great shot every possession. Beat Bucknell by 28 in the quarters. Lehigh by 20. Straight away, Tyler Nelson looking for a triple. Can't get it. Nujoku is energy personified. Falling down but saves it. Extra look here for the mid. Sean Yoder scores it himself. Guy who almost came to Colgate instead chose the academy life, the junior from Dublin, PA, with the first bucket for Navy. That's why this team's so good on the road, because they'll go find extra possessions. A long, probably not very good shot leads to an extra possession and a basket for Yoder. Ferguson, who has been white hot from three, able to put it on the deck. He'll attack. And a foul on Njoku. Mo, how about things you are keeping an eye on as we get underway? For Navy, defend the three. Colgate, the best three-point shooting team in the league, second best in the country. And value the basketball. you got to get a good shot every time up and down the court. And for Colgate, points in the paint. They want to establish inside so then they can get that three-point game going and control the glass, which you've seen earlier. Really difficult to do against this physical, aggressive Richard Njoku-led Navy team. Ferguson knocks down the first 79% free throw shooter for the senior from Fort Wayne, Indiana. First meeting down in Annapolis, mode. You mentioned 
the ability for Colgate from beyond the arc. 40%, second in the nation, 10 made threes per game. They were three of 20 in that game, but they had 50 points in the paint. So again, they can do damage all over the floor. Off the screen, Sean Yoder. His shot angling off the rim. Maybe under 33% from long range. Not their forte, but they've shown the ability to hit them in key spots. Colgate ball. Keegan Records really got to find a body. Get into Richard Njoku's body and get him away from the basket. Third offensive rebound already for Navy. And both of these teams with their win totals. Colgate 22, Richmond 21. Only three 20 win seasons for Colgate have come over the last five years. Maybe it's second in the last two decades coming this year. Richardson on the tape, lays it in with the left hand. Talked about him in the open, does a little bit of everything, great size, can play multiple positions, ability to finish. And as we hear in here, a crowd favorite. A senior from Flemington, New Jersey, at a Blair Academy. There's Nelson on the drive, and he gets the old sophomore from Monroe, North Carolina. Scored in double figures in five games in a seven-game stretch into the regular season. And Navy looking for those second and third scores. And they'll get a ton from their bench in this game. And Colgate turns it over. Tucker Richardson, first team all Patriot League. Also, all defensive, great ability to finish. And Navy needs to get to the basket. Don't settle for threes, get things going to the basket. Try to get to that foul line. They struggled here in that last meeting, nine for 20 from the foul line. But they need to get there because that slows the tempo down. That favors the mids. Uh, John, excuse me, Greg Summers in as you see Nelson attacking right away. Summers didn't play first game with an injury, limited to about three and a half minutes the last game. Senior, one of the leaders for this group, as Ferguson goes strong for the buck. Jack playing in his fifth consecutive Patriot League championship game. He's been here before and he's been on fire offensively. The bonus COVID season, he's almost at 150 career games played here for Colgate. One of their leaders in a lot of categories and delivering now a four-point lead for the Raiders. Nelson not shy here early on and delivers three. Tyler Nelson, Jr. from Monroe, North Carolina. Big shot. Find some offense from different people, as you mentioned, Jason. So important for Navy tonight. And the question always with Navy, can they score enough? The defense usually there. They did score enough. 85 in that overtime win against a talented team from Boston in the semifinals. Ryan Moffitt, second in the league in three-point percentage for the junior from Lancaster, PA. But he's off long. Great box out by Daniel Deaver off the bench. And that's what they got to take care of. Don't turn the ball over. Tough to win on the road. And the Chelsea team right there early on with Colgate. Jack Ferguson breaking down the defense and putting it home. But Tyler Nelson eyeing up three and hits it. We're underway in the Patriot League title game. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Kubota. Together we do more by Tostitos. Get to the good stuff. And by AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. Each of these programs has been fortunate to have a program defining big. The Admiral David Robinson helping that squad to the Elite Eight in 86. A Donald Foyle headline back-to-back -back Patriot League title team for Colgate in the 90s. Mo, two terrific guys. And for a Donald Foyle, throwing out some love today. Happy birthday to the big man. I'm sure he's watching, he's tweeting, and I love that tweet. Big victory for Colgate. Of course, he played here at Hamilton High School and then just had this whole area so into Colgate basketball during his run. What'd you say, a little one-on-one -on -one for those two guys here today? I did, I was tweeting with him earlier. I said I want a little one-on-one -on -one matchup, the Admiral and the Donald, that would be some battle. Well, the matchup right now on the floor has been pretty good. Colgate eight, maybe seven. Let's check in with Jenny Dell. Yeah, I was in the huddle with Coach Lingo, really focusing on Tyler Nelson, saying he was looking to attack. So that's definitely going to be a focus in the next few minutes. He said, read the help, make yourself available. We won that first round. It was awfully close, but you won it. So take it one possession at a time, guys. Jenny, thanks. Oh, how about Nelly Cummings, the no-look, the records. Oh, 
Nelly. This team shares the basketball. They're fun to watch. If they can get the game going up and down, they really share the ball in transition. Cummings, great schoolboy score in Western PA. Started his career at Bowley Green and found a home here at Colgate. Turnover Navy, their third early on. Make it four now for the mids. Big key for Navy, transition defense. That time they do a great job sprinting back, stopping the basketball. Only one three taken here in this first five plus minute stretch for Colgate. Again, for a team that makes 10 per average for content. Cummings at a strip. Summers may have got a hand in on the deck, still loose. Deaver down there trying to find Summers and give him back. Eyes in the back of his head, Mo. Nelly Cummings knows where his teammates are. Great pass and great big front court for Colgate. Keegan Records, hands have developed, feet have developed. All Patriot League selection, led the Patriot League in blocks, but love the way he catches the ball and finishes now. That's first team all league, the third team all league, and the finish by records. Now Jason, you mentioned Colgate not getting good looks at the three-point line, but that's because Navy just defends it so well. They led the Patriot League in three-point field goal defense. Jeff Woodward, good passing, big man in, and the shot clock, Cummings, puts up that long-range attempt and no-go. Here's Summers again, hampered by injury, senior for this group, 6'4 from the state of Florida. Leads this team in rebounds, assists, steals per game, and just energy personified. Jumper for him, good from the baseline. And he's feeling it. Big time defense at the end of that semifinal game against BU, and nice lift off the bench. You mentioned veteran guy played a lot of minutes for Ed Chalice. And delivered 21 points, six rebounds, five assists, including a couple of key three-point plays in the OT win against BU in the semifinal. There's Woodward setting up shot. Misfired, but a foul. They'll get deeper for that. Summer's little mid-range jump shot. Tough shot. And in between, but findings with scoring off the bench going to be so crucial for Navy. They're going to play a lot of guys, as you mentioned, Jason. They're going to run 9, 10, even 11 guys. And now you see Jeff Woodward, 6, 10, 270, sophomore. Got a lot of experience, all rookie selection last year. And his ability to get to the free throw line and finish much improved. Again, the man that plays in front of him, Keegan Records, has been so good this year that's limited his time. Gets the hop on the free throw. But Mo, as you see, Records, Woodward's delivered in short order. 11 points, five rebounds in the quarterfinal. 11 points, seven rebounds, five assists, three blocks, three steals in 18 minutes against Lehigh in the semis. Incredible. This is a team. Five guys are scoring double figures. They play eight guys. They start the same team every game. They have the rotations. And that leads into what we spoke about, experience. They've been here before. They know what it takes to win. And they're going to stick with their game plan, even though the stakes are very high here tonight. Full game 12, maybe not. Both fouls called thus far have gone against the mid. Jalen Walker. He can get buckets 13 off the bench in the last game against BU for the junior from Allen, Texas. 6'5", 215, lanky, lefty, can really finish. And again, nice lift off the bench for Navy. Woodward, sashaying in around the track. They can't finish with his offhand. That time he's got to get himself to the foul line there. Gets to the rim, either got to finish or get to the free throw line. B.J. Roach, junior from Virginia Beach, checking in. Christian Silva, senior from Miami, has got three-point ability. Not that time. over seven and a half minutes into this Patriot League Tournament Final. Top two seeds getting here. Navy was the one seed last year and upended in the opening round. Summers on the deck here and able to save it for deep. Maybe without some key personnel in some COVID protocols last year and upended in the opening round. But this group getting back strong two seed at Colgate. Advancing to the final this time around. Deaver. Second chance after the block from Woodward. Richards in the outlet with the transition D. You talk about there for a moment, but not everybody covered. And Oliver Lynch Daniels makes some pay. And that's his spot. We showed a highlight in the open. He runs to that spot. Number one percentage shooter in the Patriot League off the bench, Oliver Lynch Daniels. 53% from beyond the arc this year. 
About half of the games for Colgate, he's hit two threes, again in a limited role. Summers gets the roll on his hand. Summers has just given them such a lift. Senior veteran guy, another offensive rebound for Navy. This tempo and style right now, thus far, really favors Navy. They've got the game slowed down for the most part, other than that last possession for Colgate. Five offensive rebounds already for Navy. Four points out of them. Mince Daniels, little hesitation and hit underneath. Matt Langle raves about Lynch Daniels' work ethic in the gym all the time. Chapel Hill, North Carolina native, transferred in here, sat out, gotten better and better, and just gives them quick scoring off the bench. Started his career at Houston Baptist, and delivering for the Raiders. Back to a four-point lead. Deaver, kick out. Silver, going to try again, too strong, and Moffitt collects. Woodward wheeling his way in. Extra pass. Richardson for Drew. Timeout. Navy. Ed DeCella says Colgate, one of the best passing teams he's seen in a long time. Exhibit A right there. This team shares the basketball. Throw it ahead in transition. Big three, tough to guard. And driving, dishing, sharing, and Tucker knows how to finish. Colgate up seven here early in Hamilton. You're watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota on CBS Sports Network. About 50 or 60 midshipmen making the six hour ride to come up to support their mates here at this Patriot League championship. Time now for Jenny and the Reese's player profile. Yeah, we're going to talk about Navy senior Greg Summers getting his first real playing time this season against Colgate. He didn't play in their first meeting due to a hamstring pull and only saw four minutes of action in their second game. And that time he was dealing with a foot injury. He told me it's a good to go through adversity. It makes you stronger. He said he really used Navy's key values to get him through that hardship with a focus on toughness. And guys, he told me he's truly learned the meaning of control, what you can control this season. Uh, he's certainly tough. All of these midshipmen are one of four seniors on this group. Three of them, including Summers, will be future second lieutenants in the Marine Corps. Joku headed off to work with the USS San Antonio as an ensign in the Navy. The five-year service commitments for all these graduates of the Naval Academy. A larger role in their lives beyond this game. But let me tell you, the basketball right now is priority one. End of the shot clock, Sean Yoder can't get it off in time. Colgate with good D. Colgate holds. Nice defensive possession played through. Five offensive rebounds for Navy. That's going to be their best offense in this lineup with Greg Summers in. He's playing the point, so they take John Carter off the ball, try to get a little bit of scoring. Colgate with an 8 2 run made. Three consecutive shots from the floor. Sam Thompson, sophomore from Canada in. Ferguson now fouled by Tyler Nelson. And just the third foul in the opening 10 minutes plus of this game, all of them against the mid. Chellis looking on. With this group has come along throughout this season. Thompson. And he'll get free throw. Nelson with back-to-back -back fouls. So a guy that had some positive moments for Navy. Picks up number two. If you look at the 6'9 sophomore from Ontario, Canada. Doesn't get a ton of minutes, Mo, but delivers some impactful plays when he's on the floor. Don't forget to tune in to the 2022 Reese's College All-Star Game presented by Walmart on April 1st, live 4.30 Eastern, right here on CBS Sports Network. Missing the second. Maybe trying to break a scoring drought of over two minutes. Just one for their last seven are the mid. Harder out right now. Where's Navy going for offense? They try to go to Summers. 
And a reach in foul and pull. Good opportunity here, baseline out of bounds. When the ball's not really going in the basket, you're not getting clean looks. Navy really good. Ed DeCellis, the staff, worked so hard on this screening, trying to get some going in the basket, see if they can get the Joko or hopefully John Carter going here a little bit offensively. Summers twisting in, and again, undersized, but that's where he likes to live, in the paint. And he took the ball out of bounds, coming back in. He really has fresh legs. We've talked about, battled some injuries. So he's going to be Navy's offense here this afternoon, this evening, I should say. Six-point game, Summers saying off of Colgate. Right now, it still belongs to the Raiders. Tell you what, every possession is important in this game. So much on the line. Chance to go to the NCAA tournament. In the passing lane, great team defense. Led the Patriot League in just about every defensive statistical category. Top 10 in the country in field goal defense. Now trying for that skip uh, pass across and nobody home. So baseline out of bounds, turns into a basket. Then a really good defensive possession. Good opportunity for Navy here to withstand that punch from Matt Langle and crew and get back into this game. Matt Langle, knowing about Ed DeCellis and his team, so focused, he says, detailed, consistent in their approach. What you see is what you get. Ed DeCellis will talk about his group is trying to rebound, defend, and protect the ball. They're not protecting it well right now, and it's leading the easy points for Colgate. Nice throw ahead, nice finish by Lynch Daniels. That was all set up by Tucker Richardson. So good defensively, constantly finding loose balls and getting the ball thrown ahead. Six turnovers so far in Navy, nine points off those turnovers, and now Yoder rising up, caught Ferguson in the face with what looked to be an elbow, and that's a foul. Tucker Richardson, all defensive team, set that play up. Jack, a willing passer, throwing the ball ahead, and the Joko can't get there in time. And physical play, talked about both of these teams, so much at stake here. And inadvertent elbow, but <laughs> it still hurts, I'll tell you what. And the officials going through their process to take a little look. So while they check it out, we'll step aside. Colgate ahead here, first half in Hamilton. Twenty three fifteen and Sean Yoder coming up with the right elbow and catching Jack Ferguson squarely oh. amidships <laughs> as they say. Yes. Looks like it hurts worse in slow motion man. So going through the process to see if there's any flagrancy here. And we'll get an explanation coming from Bill McCarthy. But Ferguson. Maybe a little bit of swelling there under the right eye. Didn't affect his hair, Mo, which has been so styling before. And that looks like it may get larger throughout this game. Flagrant one they've called. Basketball move. Oh, common, common foul, excuse foul. me. Yep, yeah. common foul, Take not, a, not a flagrant, not a flagrant one. One. It's so loud in here, we can't, <laughs> we can't hear anything. Let me tell you, this is the best, isn't it, Jason? I mean, this is just the best. Jack's gonna have to get some ice on that eye tonight, no doubt about it. Well, if he can shoot with one eye, he's still got the range. Thompson on the inside, and records battling hard, hits the deck, and another foul call against Navy. Uh, let's check in with Jenny Dell. Yeah, I was in the huddle with DeCellis. He is not happy right now, Paulus. He was telling us team pass and catch. You know what to do. You just got to go and do it. Think about that mental and physical toughness. And you know when you're in a fight with someone and they really, like, spell out everything? He was clapping out fundamentals. So very fired up over there, guys. He talks about it with this group, Jenny, all the time. Thank you about doing that and just pounding home what we are and talking about rebounding, defending, protecting the ball. And then when we get scoring, we're pretty good. I thought it was interesting what he said today. I never talk about winning. I talk about what we need to do to be successful. I thought that was great. And I'll tell you what, they have been successful back to back, coach of the year in the Patriot League. And this team really, you know, statistically is in this game. They, they've given up, you know, seven turnovers and Colgate's got nine points off of those turnovers. That's the difference in the game right now. And Yoder able to clear it again. Navy has not been to the free throw line yet. And Colgate with those back to back misfires, five of eight from the strike. And Carter checking back in and hits it. 
He can deliver from a lot of places on the floor, including that 16, 17 foot range. Spring Hill, Tennessee, Summit High School. Versatile player, really picked up his scoring lately. Probably one of the best all around versatile guys in the Patriot League. Lynch Daniels left alone and cranks another one down. Largest lead of the game for Colgate. Share the basketball, another assist for Colgate on a made basket. And I'll tell you what, Lynch Daniels was out here early this afternoon shooting. He hasn't missed yet here tonight. And Navy's battled injury issues. This Colgate team, too. Cummings and Lynch Daniels, two primary ball handlers, two elite three point shooters, both out for a stretch. Colgate at one point was 4 and 10 on the season. Since then, they've won 18 of 19, including the last 14 in a row. Another one and done for the Miz. Richardson surveying the paint. Nice closeout from Inge all over Ferguson, who's 11 from 13 in his last two games from three. No chance for three and no chance for anything after the giveaway. Inge tracking back. And a foul on the floor. John Carter got that mid-range going. Colgate really guarding the three, get in the lane, finish. But Lynch Daniels and Colgate have just shared the basketball so well. Feet set. Great looking finish. Great camera work by our crew. And maybe just trying to find that combination that can defend and then get some offense going. Got to try to get something going to the foul line, slow this game down a little bit. Lynch Daniels, 10 points in eight minutes. Is, is that okay for a guy off the bench, Mo? That's solid. Matt Langle loves his bench and loves his rotation, as we talked about earlier. The Joker working on records into the double team of Moffitt. And the junior will pick up the foul, Moffitt. Good offense here for Navy. Create some contact, get something going to the rim. Richard Njoku talked about him throughout the season in the Patriot League. And so much energy, passion, plays so hard, creates contact all the time. Big offensive possession here for Navy. Denied by Lynch Daniels, gets it back. Pull up. Offensive rebound, Walker. Stick back, no. Navy getting second cracks. Not able to cash in that one. They are crashing the glass every shot. Ferguson going hard, and free throws coming up. The football crew, hey, you got a black eye. They'll, they'll be taking you on the field. Absolutely. Jack's going to need a couple ice bags after this game. Now, that's a veteran move, and why is that? Get yourself to the foul line. Find some extra points. Catch your breath. Always smiling. Career leader in games played for Colgate. Fort Wayne, Indiana native. And again, Mo, a guy that's certainly developed in his time here, came off the bench his first four years, and he would tell us, look, nobody dreams to be a career six man, but I don't see it like that. When I'm on the floor, I'm going to help the team win. A lot of guys are stuck in that role. They don't stick around. They go somewhere else. His parents coming in from Indiana, John and Leslie looking on. And again, he's gotten the chance to be in this starting group. There's a guy by the name of Jordan Burns that maybe he was playing behind the last couple of years. <laughs> Some really good players found his way. And listen, now he's in the top 20 all time in scoring at Colgate. That's an incredible accomplishment, and he's been fun to watch. Matt Langle talks about this group, the foundation laid by previous players here. They don't care about the stats, the all league stuff, they just want W. Summers. Hard working too. He is so crafty inside. Got to keep going to him because he's got it going offensively. You can see the confidence and the toughness in his face. Maybe right in this game, string a couple stops together and they're right back into this contest. Summers 4-4 four, four from the floor for eight. Records trying to get an offensive rebound for Colgate. Kick out. Moffitt makes it through. First old board of the game for the Raiders, and they turned it into a triple. Ryan Moffitt, number two in the Patriot League in three-point shooting, fifth in field goal percentage, known as a defensive guy. That's impossible to guard. Offensive rebound to a kick out. Very, very hard to guard for now. Colgate didn't get a lot of looks from three early. They've gotten some lately and made a ton of them. Four of six from beyond the arm. The lead at 11. Speaking of winning, Colgate's won 14 in a row. 
Haven't lost since the middle of January. Didn't lose a game in February. Haven't lost a game in Feb in March. Uh, Keegan records for Matt Langle. Do everything performer in the paint. Keeping it alive. Kicking it out. And seeing the three. Moffitt able to strike gold there for Colgate. When you look, Mo, Mids have played pretty good defense, but the turnovers have been costly to give Colgate some extra looks. And now they've been able to get to the free throw line, too. 18 foul on the Mids here in the opening half, just three on the Raiders. That's the first on Summer. Cummings at the strike, third in the league from here, 81 percent, and that one rims out. Remember those early here for this group, six of 11 shooting free throws, and Navy has not attempted one here and there. Deaver up strong, can't finish. Summers with another look. Kick out. Three on the way from Patrick Dorsey, who's missed about half the year with multiple injuries. The left knee wrap, that's the latest dilemma for him. We're trying to give it a go tonight for the man. And Summers lost it out. Turnover number eight on the midship. Time out here, late first half. Cold game in front. Navy looking to be on the comeback trail. Double-digit deficit first half here in this Patriot League final. The Mountain West tournament tomorrow night. Get ready for some action from that. We'll bring you all the quarterfinal action live from Las Vegas. Any designs on a winner out of this shindig? I, I love Hunter Maldonado in Wyoming. I love that group. Four seed right in the middle there. Sneaky. So many good teams in that Mountain West. Colorado State certainly looking strong too. Look out for the Rams here. Look out for the Raiders and shooters all over the floor. How about strong off the bench? Ten and a half minutes. Four for four from the field. Two for two from the three. Ten points for Lynch Daniels off the bench. And those are so hard to guard. Those drives or kickouts for three. Navy's half court defense, as we mentioned. One of the best in the country, but very hard to guard when you're getting extra possessions like that. We mentioned the five starters have average double figures, Mo. All five of those guys have scored 20 in a game this season, so they've got the ability to deliver. And Lynch Daniels, if he played more minutes, certainly would have those capabilities. Mop. Long rebound. Navy, well, we talked about the second chance points opportunities. Nine offensive rebounds, but they only have four points as Woodward gets the rejection. Nine offensive rebounds is incredible, and that's going to be a focus for Colgate in the second half. You see, we talk so much about Colgate's offense, but their defense, their size, their interior size, their depth, so improved. The top three in the league in scoring defense, field goal defense, three-point defense. And a lot of that we're watching in action right now. As they neutralize Navy to this point, the double-digit advantage with three and change left to go opening half. Woodward backing down, a guy giving up three inches in Deaver, and Woodward scores it. He is a big body, 6'10", 270, and I'll tell you what, a crowd favorite when he scores. This place just erupts. Woodward with his second bucket. Lead now at 13. Deeper underneath. Can't score. Tap for Richardson. Ferguson getting by and score. He has really developed that go to the bucket ability, not just a standalone three point shoot. And how about the confidence? You can just see this team. They know how to win. They've been here before, they've been in big moments. And Jack just knows how to deliver the offense. 11 points off the Navy turnovers in this game, zero points off the Colgate giveaways for the mid. Navy needs a little momentum here going into halftime. Stop. Quick run out in the basket. A 
couple weeks ago. First half, Colgate got out by 11, but Navy was able to reel him in and tie the game before halftime. And look like they're going to be able to pull even here, but try to limit the damage before they get to the break. Nine on the shot clock. This is a play, a place they really like to use Tucker Richardson as a screener and then stepping back to the basketball, let him create. Yep. Really Cummings coming back in. Nine on the shot clock. Got to get something going quick. Yoder back in for Dorsey. Gamely giving it a go with that bum left leg. Summer is the best driver of the ball for Nate. Kick out for Yoder. And the mid still cannot dial in from deep. One of ten from long range. One of ten and eight turnovers. Tough to win on the road, but this team will not give up, I can tell you that. Nelly Cummings underneath. Woodward able to lay it in. Navy picking a bad time for its 18th scoring drought of four minutes or more on the season because Colgate has run away a little bit here right now. Eight straight misses from the floor for the mids, and now another turnover, ninth of the game. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Adam Zucker, Chris Walker, Renee Montgomery, John Rothstein, full house there in New York City, gets caught up in all the conference tournaments. Plus, we'll have the first half stats and highlights all coming up on AT&T at the half. It's a full house here <laughs> at Cotter Report, and they're all wrapped this up in the Raiders. March Madness. Ed DeCellis took both East Tennessee State and his alma mater, Penn State, to the NCAA tournament, trying to do the same with Navy. But the offense has got to get on track here, missing eight straight from the floor while Colgate's had a field day of late. 9 0 run in the last four and change, and Cummings will get to try and add to that from the line. And the Raiders, Mo, have been in this spot. In fifth straight year, nobody else has done it more than three times in the now 32 history of the Patriot League. They got drilled in year number one by an excellent Bucknell sure team. Sure did, yep. But then two wins of the last three years. They just got better and better. Three 20 win seasons in program history, and all of those have come in the last four years. And it's taken time again for both of these programs, Matt Langle and company, constructing it. There is. Rennell Cummings, Nellie Cummings' father. Nellie's given first name is also Rennell, but as Nellie will tell you, the only person who calls him that is his mom when she's not happy with him. That's so right. Rennell in the stands and Rennell on the floor. The Nellies loving life right now as Colgate here is doubling up Navy. Nellie, impressive. Getting to the foul line there again, putting that pressure on that Navy defense. 11-0 run, finally stymied by Carter, knocking it down from deep. Big shot for Navy. A little momentum, something to talk about going into halftime with a defensive stop here and reset in the second half. As I mentioned, there'll be no, no give or no quit in this Navy team in the second half. It's the second triple of the game for, mid, for the men's, trying to get to their first NCAA tournament since 1998. Wingate vying to get there for the third time at a five-year stretch. And it's a clock. Look at the setup, and Moffitt beats the horn. Exquisite stuff offensively from Colgate. Eighth assist on 14 made field goals in the half. Move without the basketball. How about that? That is basketball beautiful. And Jenny Dale is standing by with Colgate's head coach. Coach, winning the game, but not winning with rebounds. What are you seeing there? How do you secure more? Yeah, we got to get it. They're, they're long, they're strong, they're athletic, and, and the misses aren't right around the rim. So we got to do a better job of getting some contact and boxing out so we can get out in transition where we're pretty good. You see your guys are playing with a ton of heart. What do you need to do to secure this win today? Yeah, just one possession at a time and really one four-minute window at a time. If we can stay solid and keep making good decisions, uh, that's when we play our best. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks. Matt Langle's team may be trying to turn it up rebounding wise, but they don't need a ton of rebounds when they shoot it at 67%. Is that Patriot League trophy the pot of gold at the end of the basketball rainbow? We'll find out. Colgate in control. AT&T at the half coming up in just a moment.
watching Crack and Week on CBS Sports Network, presented by Kubota. Bracket Week presented by Kubota here in the Patriot League Colgate trying to win it all for the third time in a five year stretch 40 22 on top of Navy here at halftime back court side of Cotter report Jason Knapp Mo Cassera Jenny Dell will rejoin us in just a second a hey, Navy played a great half of a first half and then Colgate did what it can do which is get some separation with quick strike score. Navy crashed the glass, they kept it close, they were physical, but that offensive machine sharing the basketball for Colgate, eight assists on 14 baskets. And again, taking advantage of some Navy turnovers and just turning them into gorgeous points. They just share it so well, everybody. Behind the back passes, cross court passes, so hard to guard. Big guys sharing the basketball, making the extra pass, or as I say, the right pass, throw it ahead in transition, and great bench scoring. Big time effort by Lynch Daniels off the bench. 13-3 Raider run ended the half in 67% shooting all eight guys mode that saw action on the floor for Colgate score. And Navy not able to get to the free throw line. Last matchup here, close game, they got to the foul line 20 times. Now they only made nine, but that helped them and controlled the pace. They've got to get to the foul line here in the second half. For more of a potential Navy comeback story, let's check in with our Jenny Depp. Yeah, I was speaking with Coach Michelle. He was not pleased with that first half. He said, we didn't do anything that we talked about doing. We're playing timid. So the focus in the second half, really focus on those small details, the emphasis on fundamentals there. He said, we need to win these first four minutes, guys. We'll see if they can. Again, the team with experience in this championship game setting, playing like it here early and again to start the second half with Ferguson. But what Jenny just said is when you're down at the half, you got to break the game into small sections. You got to win this first four minutes of your Navy and Jack just comes out on fire. Jumper there from Tyler Nelson, no good. Ferguson now, Mo in his third Patriot League playoff game is 12 of 14 from three. Check it. 13 of 15 from deep. Coach Mike Jackson likes it, and the bench, and the crowd, and the Navy fans who traveled so far, and this team is so tough, just so difficult to defend that attack. Again, Ferguson, one of the leading three-point shooters in the league, doesn't get one in the first half, and then bang, bang. So difficult, Jack comes off that screen, squares his body, great range, and then throw the ball ahead. Tucker Richardson back back, and Jack is just feeling it. Took a little beating in the first half, couple shots to the eye. But I'll tell you what, he has been on fire in this tournament. And well, now Summers not able to find the range. In this Navy squad, working hard. To get the two seed here in Patriot League play. And the cellist again telling, telling Jenny Dell, see what they have in them here. This group certainly has a lot of moxie. We'll see if they can start to string together some consistency here and make a push. I'll tell you what, it's hot in here. <laughs> it's tight and loud. The football team has started to lose some layers of clothing there under the basket. It is loud and it is electric in here. I think for Navy to claw back in this game, it's got to be Summers getting to the basket, trying to slow the tempo down. He's been there scoring and try to get John Carter going as well. See if they can get some treks to the free throw line. And in the last matchup, though, maybe shot 20 free throws 12 days ago. Only made nine of them. That jumper offline, out of bounds, Navy basketball. Let's give Navy credit. Nice move there. Going to a little 2 3 zone, just try to change it up. Nice move by Coach DeCellis and the staff there. Just give Colgate a different look, try to stop the offensive momentum, see if they can string together a couple possessions. I mentioned Summers and Carter, kind of go time for them. First field goal miss of the game for Ferguson, and all four from the floor. And foul there on Tucker Richardson. They'll get him for the hole. Jealous patrolling, Matt Langle looking on. Yeah, Matt Langle is talking about his team, just saying, hope we play well. We talked about him, he knows he has quality here. 
hopes they can show one of the biggest stages. Nujoku, confident move for two. That's the tempo we need. Get a stop, come down, create a foul. Now back to this 2-3 zone. Nice defensive switch here by Navy. Nelly Cummings has a seam and drills it. Triple number seven for Colgate. Pops loves it. Pass, pass, catch, shoot. Eleven assists here on 17 made field goals. Pass, and then the pass comes right back. Nelly squares his feet. Pass and pass back. Simple basketball. Always be ready to catch the ball, be ready to shoot. This is a veteran group. You know, we talked to Matt Langle early in the season. They had a couple, of, there were some pauses and games. And he just knew he had a really good team and he wanted to get them out of the court and play. And since then, they've done that. 14 straight wins for Colgate. Quarter three, rattled down by Nelson, who had success hitting a triple early. He's got two of the three now in the game. Again, well, you touched on it. Colgate had four games in Patriot League play postponed by other teams' COVID pauses. They had to make up all of those games. They played 12 games in a 27-day stretch. They played three games a week, basically, through February. And you know what? That's when they rattled off all of those wins here in the Patriot League tournament. Even an arduous schedule did not deter them. Richardson almost to beat the shot clock. Nice defense by Navy. Take away the three. Force Colgate to shoot some twos. So you can string some offensive possessions here together. Hinge, nice take. Joku with a follow flush. And Dechellis with the hand clap. Will that pump up the mid? One of my favorite players to watch develop in the Patriot League over these years. He's gotten so much better year in and year out. And you mentioned earlier, Jason, future great leader for our country in the U.S. Navy. Richardson. Pretty good guard and still gets it done over top of it. Tucker Richardson so hard to guard because he's 6'5". You know, he can catch the ball, he keeps it high, doesn't bring it down. And every time Navy makes a little run, Colgate's just had an answer. Five different Colgate players have a three in this game. And there's Nelson again active on the interior. Another offensive rebound going to the glass. Relentless. Well, every Colgate field goal attempt so far this half has been a three. They're four of six. Now four of seven now as Cummings is well off. And maybe trying to put Navy away now here. That three point ability. Summers. And his office in the paint converts. Really good attacking throughout this game. Finding some offense back to the zone again for Navy. Try to extend. And what they're trying to do here is take away the three-point line. Take away threes, force twos. Try to shorten this game up a little bit. Summers now with 11. Coming, shaking on the baseline. It's Najoku off kilter. And the foul. Colgate Raiders here at home in Hamilton getting a following football team on display. And the Raiders getting it rolling too from all areas. Colgate 52-34 trying to keep Navy at bay. Let's check in with Jenny Dell. Well, guys, you look at a player like Jack Ferguson, the all-time leader for games played here at Colgate, who's had an incredible game tonight. And Coach Langle, he told me that he's a quiet leader of this team. Very even keel, never too high, never too low. But he told me when it comes to the emotions of playing in his final home game, he said he had pregame butterflies. He doesn't think the true realization of this being his last game in Hamilton will really hit him until after it's over. And we have the first for Ferguson, guys. His grandparents, Jim and Judy, they're here watching him for the very first time play as a Raider. Yeah, and they were the ones, his grandmother, that did some research. They found Jack to be a distant relative of the Canadian inventor of the game, Dr. James Naismith. Jack Ferguson's middle name is Naismith, even though they're not a huge basketball family before Jack. That works out pretty well. Dr. Naismith, somewhere from above, would like the stroke on number 13. How great is that? This is 
you know, that's what it's all about. Great career. Grandparents get to get out here. Listen, it's not easy to get from Fort Wayne, Indiana to Hamilton, New York, and credit for them for getting here, and credit for Jack Ferguson for working so hard, giving a lot of great memories here for Colgate fans. Summers giving off for Carter. Navy starting to find a little rhythm offensively. Five of their last seven from the floor. Good. That one is tipped out. Problem has been with Colgate still scoring it will. Let's check back in with Jenna. Yeah, I had a really great conversation with Ferguson earlier today, and I was asking him just about this season. He said, we've had a really tough non-conference schedule, and obviously that didn't go the way that they wanted, but he said it took maturity to understand that they weren't a results-based team. He told me that they realized the importance of the culture that they built, and he knew that the results would come, and they certainly have. And yeah, they really have Jenny with this 14 game winning wave, 18 of the last 19. Summers fouled by Woodward and he'll get to the strike. Emma, we talked about it. Colgate in a challenging non-conference schedule. They hung 100 on Syracuse at the Dome. They snapped a 54 losing streak against Syracuse. First win there since 1962 when Jim Beheim was a redshirt freshman. But then they really struggled after that. They're sitting at four and ten. And again, Matt Langell said the first win against Navy was kind of the first time in conference that they felt like themselves, and they rolled six. This team was four and ten, 0 oh and one in the Patriot game. <laughs> They've won 14 in a row, playing in their fifth straight, fifth straight Patriot League championship game. A lot of confidence in this group, and why not with the way they have played more often than not here, especially in league, the last couple of years. Cummings trying to find Woodward. Uh, Richardson attacking the baseline. Seven of the shot clock. Cummings will look to do it himself. Maybe lost track of time. I don't know if he got it off either way. It's Navy ball. Navy's got to push now. Try to get something going to the basket for sure. That's summer strength. Woodward though rejecting it. Good initial defense from Lynch Daniels. Hustle from Summers. Lynch Daniels there in the passing room. Moffitt. Number four can't get a three. If that went in, I think the roof is going to come off this place. Speaking of roofs, this place is going to get a big facelift. Brand new building. Plans are drawn. Speaking with athletic director Nikki Moore. And huge gift and new basketball facility going to break ground uh, as early as this summer. And right here in Cotterill Court, seating about 1,800. Again, only about 2,800 students here, Mo. Small Division I school. Again, we're about an hour southeast of Syracuse. And again, they have really rallied around this group here the last couple of years with all this success, especially when we get to this time of the year. Deep. And the rebound pulled in by Woodward. And you mentioned it, Jason. You know, obviously, this is a very good team. They're on display here on national TV. But what Matt Langle's done is build a program year in and year out now. The town supports, the student body, the community, so involved. And you can just feel the electricity when you walk in this building. And Matt Langle, again, able to put it together, Moen. This is a little under the radar for people nationally. Again, South Dakota State, Murray State delivering Colgate 14 straight. They make it 15 here, and then the question is, they get an NCAA tournament bid. I'll tell you what, this is a dangerous team. They shoot the ball well, they've got big front court, and they've got something else that's so important in March. They've got experience. They've been there. They don't get rattled. I'll tell you what, this is a dangerous team should they win this next 13 minutes. Right now, continuing to hold the line at 20. With a little over 13 minutes left. Try to get it done here. For the third time in a five-year stretch. Maybe holding out hope that it can build a pathway to a comeback. Now they're coming on Colby. They're on Moffitt, that'll be his third. Thompson will return for him. Team four here in the half on Colgate, just two in this half on the mids. 
Chalice's group and try to find their way. Again, gritty win over American in the quarterfinal round, and then five points in the OT win, able to find the scoring in that game. That last quality squad in this league, but they've not been able to solve the three-gate defense more often than not so far tonight. And suddenly one and done, no offensive rebounds. The force of Colgate's bench, with some fresh legs, just contesting everything and cleaning up the glass. Woodward on Deaver will back it out high, keep it going. Lynch Daniels able to get it, and a whistle here stepped out of bounds. Just the fifth turnover, one full game in this game. And that fits in with what this team does, Mo. They've got 12 assists. Five turnovers, the top ten of the nation in assist to turnover ratio, right about their average, 1.5 per game. Yep. Number two in the country, three point percentage. They average about 10 threes a game. Take care of the basketball, don't turn it over. And the way they shoot it, they're a dangerous, dangerous team in this NCAA tournament. Walker. He eyes up a three. Carter trying to leave off in a joker and wrestled away eventually by Woodward. That kind of sums up Navy's evening, doesn't it? They're just at the basket. They're playing so hard. They're playing so physical and just a little bit of a loose ball, 50-50 ball. They just can't get it in the rim. Cummings wrap around for Woodward. And the Joku ends up with it. Summers. Trying to maybe get an and one, doesn't get anything. The Navy will keep possession. Woodward says, it wasn't me. Timeout on the floor. Passion's running hot here. Raiders try to make it happen for the third time in recent times and for the second straight year. You're watching Bracket Week, presented by Kubota here on CBS Sports Network. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Coming up next, join our inside college basketball crew in the studio for the latest updates on all things conference tournaments as the road to the Final Four continues right here on CBS Sports Network. 56-36. Colgate trying to deliver another Patriot League tournament title. How about the Mountain West Women's Tournament? Coverage begins 10 Eastern right here on CBS Sports Network. UNLV against Colorado State. The one seed and the two seed as there's a little bracket chaos there, Mo. Yes, there is. Such is March. So fun following all these leagues and so much at stake. None here to get to this championship game. Top two advancing through. And right now, number one playing like it here, up 20. And under 11 and a half minutes go to go to try to get back to the NCAA tournament. For the fifth time overall in Colgate history. Turnover. A couple here in succession. Both of these offenses a little stagnant. Njoku. Going strong, Richardson swipes it. Then no field goals for Colgate now in over five minutes, and it's been almost three and a half without a point for Navy. Every play can just contested. Tucker Richardson shows his size and versatility there. First team all Patriot League defensive, as you mentioned, Jason. Also first team all Patriot League and all academic. Anything he's missing from that list? He does it all. Tell you what. He does it all. If he comes back here to Colgate next year, I would think he would be the preseason player of the year favorite. Lynch Daniels leading off for Woodward and one. The unselfishness smell of this team is rare. Share the basketball so well. Passion, excitement. I'll tell you what, in state tournament, you're gonna see that guy's face on <laughs> some some video cameras. He just plays with such excitement. I had a chance to interview him last week. He was 
he, he was he was moving around so much I tried to grab a hold of him and try to pull him closer to me so I could ask him a question. He was laughing and talking and had the football team involved and just such a fun young man to be around and a guy who's really developed into a great player. 13 points off of Navy turnovers in this game for the Raiders. Zero points off of Colgate turnovers for the mid. And that and maybe not enough second chance points off of the volume of offensive rebounds. 17 of those for Navy in this game in just 10 points. And not able to take advantage of opportunities when presented. Summer's able to score that on the drive. And he's been so good in that category here for Navy. Give him 15 to lead the way. He's been terrific. You know, talking to Ed Chelsea at shoot around today, he just felt like we needed to put it all together. Today. Everybody needed to play well. And obviously that hasn't happened, but a lot of that credit goes to Colby because they have defended, they've shared the basketball, they've done everything they need to do. And that really comes down to experience. This time of year, so much is about experience. Thompson, we're going to get it quickly for Lynch Daniels. Richardson spotting up. And that one well off. Woodward fires it back out of bounds on the side. Little ragtag here with this large margin now for Colgate. Records will return for Woodward. And again, Mo, for Colgate, again, if you're looking ahead potentially if this stands up, in the fact that they've got multiple active bigs that can do some damage on the inside. A lot of times you see a team from a smaller conference get big guy in trouble and they don't have that depth. The size, they shoot the ball well, they make free throws, they take care of the basketball. All those things coupled with experience, those are the types of resumes you need to win games in the NCAA tournament. Tell you what, no quit in John Carter and Greg Summers. Those two have been brilliant throughout their entire Navy careers. So Carter able to hit, knocking it down, give him eight. Ian Summers combined for 23 of the 41 for Navy right now. That's a start. And they get a stop and then string together a stretch. Yoder with the fat. Here come the mids. Attack for Yoder. Give up. Extra pass. Walker wants three. Can't get it. Nelson battling for the old board. Hard fought win there for Richardson. And that's the shot they needed to just swing the momentum a little bit. Just haven't been able to get it all evening. Four of 16 from beyond the arc for the mid. Thompson can't finish on Walker. Summers. Outlet. High flying trying for the jam is Nelson. Maybe a bit missed time, but who can't free throws? <laughs> Little stutter step, try to get to the rim. Get your team back in this game. This is a great opportunity. Couple made free throws right here. Set your defense. How about that? Boy, this league has been so contested all year. These have been the two heavyweights, one versus two, and we, we got that match up here this evening. And Nelson had designs on ripping the rim down. And Lynch Daniels just angled him enough out to take that away. Not able to convert on the front half of this trip to the stripe. And leaving points on the table there are the mids. Second one coming. Sophomore able to stick. 16 point game. Eight and change left. Outlet for Moffitt. And now Navy got numbers back in possession. Full court pressure forces another turnover. Yoder will try to do it himself. End of. First points off a turnover in this game for Navy. And a timeout here for Colgate. 8.08 left to go. The mids have a little spark. 
Can they keep it rolling here and pull a stunning comeback? You're watching Bracket Week presented by Kubota. It's been since 1998 since the Mids have gone to the NCAA tournament. Can they get the comeback to get them back there? Both of these coaches, Mo, Matt Langle, Ed DeCellis, it's year 11, their first season in conference about a decade ago. The numbers were not pretty in league play. Two wins for Colgate, zero league wins for Nate. Just incredible, the climb, the work, the time, the effort that they put in, and now the two premier teams right now in the Patriot League. And combined, they've won the last five Patriot League Coach of the Year awards. Matt Langle, three years in a row, and then back to back for Ed DeCellis, and you see that Matt Langle's He's T-shirt worthy. <laughs> I mean, this how about that? March. That shows how far they've come. This is March. I got a picture of Matt Langle in a T-shirt. I got to get myself one of those. By the way, nice call by him before a timeout. Try to settle his team down. Navy really made a run. As I mentioned, this team is going to battle and battle right to the last whistle. Timeout, run some offense. See if you can get everybody a touch. Let Nelly create with a ball screen. Eight straight for Navy in this run. Mids three of five from the floor. Colgate's missed all three of its shots in this span. And some turnovers mixed in there, too. Deep into the shot clock. Records two in the time. Oh, can't finish. Tough rebound there for Walker. Another stand for Navy defense. That's what's made them so good all year defensively. Finding a way to get stops. Nelson on offense, kick out, Yoder, three for number three in blue and white. And a little delay with little stuff falling in to the court. Interesting, has the, the pace has picked up here a little bit, and that actually has favored Navy. And, and all they needed, you know, in the first half was to get a couple shots to go, and they certainly do. <laughs> the mid fans want to attack. We will get a different type of team. Timeout on the floor here as Navy has some life. The jumper from Yoder, 11 point game. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by PenFed. Presenting sponsor of the Patriot League basketball tournaments. And by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Some big Patriot League moments in the NCAA tournament. Back to back wins for Bucknell in 05 06 against Kansas and Arkansas. Who can forget CJ McCollum and Lehigh taking down Duke? Right now, Colgate trying to get back. To the dance, Navy looking to get there for the first time in almost a quarter century. And they're at the table reviewing the last sequence. Maybe trying to get the clock all set up. And trying to just check to see if that contact between Keegan Records and the defender Walker would be something. It's not. And play on we will. What does Navy need to do, Mo, to kind of keep his role? A lot of time left in this game. 7-15, don't need to gamble here, don't need to foul, just need to play solid defense. How about Jenny Dell listening in on the Navy huddle? Jenny? Yeah, guys, I gotta tell you, the under 12 timeout, this team looked defeated. Last year, there was definitely a lot of life to them. Coach Tatel is telling his team, all the pressure right now is on Colgate, so you guys gotta stay relaxed. He said the goal they want to be within 10 with five minutes to go, guys. And that is closing in on that right now. They're with 11 and the chance maybe to get to single digits. Another Colgate giveaway. That is six turnovers in the last six minutes for this group mode. But can Navy cash in from the free throw line? Yeah, they didn't take any in the first half, and now they're five of seven here in the second half. Well, something that Colgate obviously has not handled well is that full court pressure, so Navy will bring it again after the free throw. Offensive rebound, Carter tried to kick it out. Navy had an angle to get to the cup. Instead, it's Summers driving for two. Eight-point game. We got ourselves a basketball game. 
the defense and toughness of Navy on full display here in the second half. 14-0 run for the Mids. At one point early in the half, they were down 24. And the experience of Polgate get settled down. Try to find some poise and some points. It's been a minute. Not this trip. Yoder with a board, and they'll get Colgate for a foul. And you look at this run for Navy and what Colgate's done. Again, the turnovers, some missed shots, and just pressure from the mid. And another thing, Jason, they're getting to the foul line. It slowed the game down. It's allowed them to set up full court pressure. The game is now being played at their tempo, the way they like to play with the toughness, and the pressure now shifting back to Colgate to handle that. And Yoder, one of the better free throw shooters for Ed DeCellis, 75%, knocking it down. Ed DeCellis looking on, though, and it's funny, you know, these teams dealt with the COVID pandemic. September 2020, DeCellis dealt with his own issues. He's walking along the yard in Annapolis. Arm, left leg went numb. Fortunately, the team strength conditioning coordinator, Brandon Spade, was right there. Turned out he had on the uh, bleeding on the brain. Spent some time in the ICU. Finally got healthy. Changed his diet. Getting back with this group. And this group right now kind of rehabilitating itself with this energy an effort to come back here and pressurize Colgate. And now if they can play without fouling, just continue to put the pressure on Colgate. Third foul on Summer. Able to beat this pressure this time. Walker going for the steal. And he'll pick up a personal. That's number three on the junior. Might have gotten away with a carry. The Navy bench and fans wanted a carry. You see here the pressure continuing to come and trapping and might have gotten away with a carry and foul. Now, this is where the Colgate experience has to kick in. Run your offense, move the basketball, share it, play inside out. But Navy has turned it up, dialed it up on defense. Lob for Woodward. Cummings will attack, scores it. He can blow by a lot of defenders like that. Sixty fifty two. Carter. Tough turnaround. Wow. Good. wow. We got ourselves a basketball game now. Carter and Summers and Yoder have really got it going offensively, but it's been their defense. Richardson trying to direct some traffic. Summers is flat out denying Nelly Cummins the basketball. So playing almost without a point guard, struggling to get the ball over half court. Colgate. Inside the Woodward. Tapped away. Carter on the deck, and he's fouled by Cummings. Again, this game has done a complete 180. Sure has. Good job by Nelly here getting to the basket. Gets the crowd back in it. But Carter with a big time finish, that mid range jumper. He's had it going all evening. And then a costly foul here, turnover. See Navy in every passing line, loose balls, 50 50 balls, hustle plays. You see the faithful here, a little nervous. Most well, sometimes for Navy, it takes time to turn the boat around. It's not taking that <laughs> long for this team to turn things in its favor and close the gap here on Colgate. And Summers brick the free throw. 7 of 11 now for the strike for the mid. You know, interesting too, Navy here has gone to a smaller lineup, really almost an all guard forward lineup. So they've gone smaller, they've gotten faster, they're going to continue to put pressure on the basketball. So for Colgate now, take care of the basketball, make free throws, get things going to the basket. Foul on Yoder, that's his fourth. And Colgate's kind of taken a page out of the Navy book and attacked to get to the free throw line. Down to the wire we go in Hamilton.
teams already getting ready to showcase their skills on the big dance floor. Which of these two teams will join them, including Delaware, won the CAA from Martin Inglesby. And congratulations, the Longwood Lancers of the Big South going dancing. Chance to dance here tonight. I'll tell you what, the crowd is dancing in here now. It is loud, and Navy has turned it up. We have a basketball game just under five to go. Looked like Holgate was going to get there in a waltz in the second half, but it is now a big time war. Jeff Woodward finally ending a drought here for Colgate. You know, Jason, I just mentioned Navy has gone small. That's the one advantage, and Colgate took advantage of it going inside to Woodward. Boy, Nelson got in deep, hopped off the rim, couldn't fall, and now a foul on the mids. And Woodward firing up the football team. You look at Matt Langle, his wife Tara, their three kids in the stands. Great tactical move by the Colgate staff. Mention it. Navy goes small and they've been tough pressuring. So they go to Woodward, the biggest guy on the floor, get a mismatch, and he's able to finish with his left hand under pressure. Going to be a free throw shooting contest now. Foul on Nelson is third in team number seven and a half on the mids. 18 fouls here on Colgate. As Mo said, free throws. The rest of the way, Richardson sticks the first. 13 of 19 for the Raiders from the strut. And he does it all for them. First person in play program history. 1,000 points, 500 rebounds, 400 assists. He's going to have to keep the basketball in his hand a lot now this last four and a half minutes. And Lander has said throughout his career, he's our best basketball player. Maybe not the most talented, but all of Lango's coaching buddies always rave about number 15 because he always seems to be in the right spot all the time. Back to a 10-point cushion for Colgate. And maybe just gnawing away. And back within a half dozen. Do they have another serve? Richardson in the right spot there to get the foul. And that's number four on Greg Subbers. Just unfortunate here, trying to get a handoff, and Colgate's turned it up. Tucker Richardson spoke about it before. All defensive team and just in the right place at the right time. He's so crafty, just finds a way to hit the basketball, get himself back to the free throw line here, try to stretch it to 12. Matt Langle said, as he misses that free throw, was like the sixth or seventh best guy in his AAU team, so not a lot of highlights. But he has developed into a Highlight player for this Raiders squad. He sure has went to Blair Academy the next to prep year for Joe Mantegna, and there he is again. <laughs> Another near turnover for Colgate. Maybe gets it back. Nelson up strong. A little too deep on the three. Maybe with some opportunity. Colgate now try to stretch it out a little further. Under four to go. Don't need to foul here if you're Navy, but need to string some stops together. Try to get a quick run out. There's the mismatch again in the size. Woodward saw Nelson try to set up the foul. Instead, he's called for it. His fourth. Ten-point game. Under four to go for a trip to the dance. NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Selection Show, Sunday at 6 on CBS. 64-54, Colgate trying to deliver another trip to the NCAA Tournament. Let's get to the good stuff, brought to you by Tostitos. A lot of good from Jack Ferguson. Oh, boy, yeah, has he been good tonight? Four for five from the field, two for three from the, two for three, from the three. Great range, big baskets when Colgate needed it. He has been terrific throughout the Patriot League tournament. Guy who wears the number 13 for this group and delivering so many good moments here throughout his career in the last couple of weeks especially. Hey, let's clean something up. Foul in the last sequence before the timeout was an offensive foul on Woodward, his second. So white one off for Nelson, just three on him. More importantly for the mids, possession here down 10 with 332 on a moving clock. Yeah, got the stop they needed. See if they can get something going to the basket. There's Summers again. Turnover number 14 on Navy. 
13 points so far off those giveaways for Kobe. And they add to that talent. Foul issues for the Mids. Double team on Woodward. Capital I. Six to shoot. Underneath Woodward. The catch, the score. Big man delivering another double figure game here in the Patriot League tournament. A dozen now for him. And a shove defensively. Well, credit Tucker Richardson because he did a little subtle play there. He brought the basketball back out, calmed everybody down, and that's why this is a great program and team. Nobody cares who scores, nobody cares who plays. There's the starting center on the bench, and he's cheering on Woodward, who's done big things here in the second half. And that is foul number five on Sean Yoder, who will exit. Nine points for him. Quality work throughout this game. He an average 10 points in the two regular season meetings against the Raiders. And then delivering nine along with four rebounds in this contest. But We'll watch along with the rest of the mids to see if they have one more push coming here against the home team. Richardson off. Holgate back to wet. So an easy board for Navy. We're thinking threes, five of 19 for Navy, and no chance right away. Now Inge with opportunity. Long rebound for Cummings. And we'll head the other way. Foul, I believe, on Nelson trying to go for the board. And that's the fourth on the sophomore from North Carolina. Langle making the response for his team. The Chellis coaching away as usual. He sure is, right? through every play mentioned coach of the year in the Patriot League got themselves back here championship game and tell you what Jack Ferguson and Tucker Richardson have just been in the right place at the right time all evening when they needed a big basket or a free throw or a little settle down but boy this Navy team just doesn't quit do they Jason certainly what you would expect from this bunch of young men, future leaders. And their service to the nation coming up. We try to get where no Navy team's gone since 98. They heard email from Mike Geary, Hassan Booker, some of the other members of that last team to get to the big dance, trying to give them some positivity. But right now, Colgate <laughs> has just stomped things out this in this place comeback. It is loud, it is, isn't it? I'll tell you what, Jack's going to get some well-deserved ice bags tonight. He has been on the floor taking charges. Got popped in the eye once. That's number five on Nelson. Get Dorsey coming back. Hey, he was a guy famously on your all-hair team with a little longer. He was. He's cut it a little years. shorter. I, you know, I didn't want to tell him this year. I'm a little disappointed in that, but you know. He's in his fifth year of college. I guess he figured he had to cut his hair and start you know, trying to look you know, a little thinking more about the real world a little bit. <laughs> right now, this Hogate team trying to potentially realize another trip to the tournament. Cummings attacking and more free throws coming up. That's on Inge. Now, let's give Nellie Cummings a lot of credit. When Navy was on that really big run, and all of a sudden we were looking at each other like, here they come. It was that drive to the basket and layup that Nelly Cummings got that just seemed to settle everything down for Colgate. Big basket, veteran play, and you know, we've talked about that throughout the broadcast. That's what this team really has. They can score, they can defend. There you see Pops, but I'll tell you what, when it gets tight, they know and they have the experience, know what it takes to win. Two generations of Nelly enjoying this <laughs> right now. Make it a 10-0 run in the last 237 for Colgate. Well, maybe finally putting Navy away. Summers turning into the double. And 
They'll get Ferguson for that foul. You know, Navy was really never able to establish that inside play tonight. Njoku, Daniel Deaver, two guys are, have been so good for them around the rim. Just weren't able to do that. Got to give Colgate a lot of credit. Their front court's been really good. And Summers can't hit that. Mo, we talk about as some of these Colgate players see a lot of players around the country opportunity to come back for that bonus COVID year. Well, there's no chance of that here at Navy. Right. You know, these guys are doing their four years and moving on in service of our nation. So a definitive swan song potentially for some of these guys. Again, they've got 21 wins. See if they potentially have a chance to play in a different tournament. Woodward getting a nice ovation with his work on the night. But again, if it is the end of the run for guys like Summers and Carter, again, helping lay the groundwork. Yeah, Richard some Njoku, the guys, guys that are, you mentioned, Jason, going to be just incredible leaders for our country, terrific student athletes, been just brilliant to watch them throughout their career. Again, as Adichella says, this team's pretty deep. It's in depth and certainly expected to be a contender next year and beyond here in the Patriot League. Another turnover for the mids. Under 90 seconds left. And the Raiders just trying to kill some clock. Richardson with a finishing touch. And reach in from Summers. And that'll be his fifth foul. Celebration about to begin again in Hamilton. Great chant. And Mo, again, we talk about both of these coaches in year 11. Mm. And again, for Navy to get back to the tournament final for the first time in that stretch. Holy to, to year six. Patience exhibited by athletic directors and departments. Yep. Something we don't see very much. And to do their thing. Matt Langle and the Chellis have built and built, and not just good teams we're seeing here tonight, but programs. Deep, tough, know how to win. We talked about this. This Colgate team going to find a way to win here today. This is a dangerous group when those brackets come out next week. All-time winning percentage over 120 years Colgate basketball. It's under 50%. This last five-year stretch, it's about 70%. Massive improvement for this team. Consistency and may be rewarded with another Patriot League tournament victory in the championship. Ferguson on the attack. Well, a couple of years ago, Against Tennessee, Jordan Burns at 35. You see Inge knocking it down from deep, and they gave the volunteers all they could handle. Last year against Arkansas, they were up 17 early, had the Razorbacks reeling before ultimately falling. And it looks like Colgate's going to get another crack at having some magic in the NCAA tournament. Moffitt will hold it, and the Raiders will get to revel in success again. Colgate never trailed, never denied, and headed back to the NCAA tournament with their third Patriot League tournament title in a five-year stretch. Colgate is Cold Great again. Wow, congratulations. The fans, the town, the community. What a win, what a performance by Colgate. Certainly no shame for the mids in what they accomplished this season. Again, two 20-win seasons in the last five-year stretch. Fred DeCellis and company, they're only two of 20 or more in the last two decades. And putting themselves back 
in the championship game for the first time since 01. And have to wait a little longer to get back to the NCAA tournament. But for Colgate, become commonplace to be in this game. He had five straight trips, third title in that span. And Matt Lankel, funny, saw him the other day. I said, hey, what have you been doing? He goes, just shuttling the kids around to their sports games, trying to juggle everything here. Their family atmosphere. And a, another impressive win for Colgate here in this championship. Well, for Mo Cacera, Jenny Dell, and our entire CBS Sports Network crew, this is Jason Knapp. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Again, Colgate up by as many as 24. End up winning 74-58 over Navy here to grab another Patriot League tournament title. Congrats to Matt Langle and the Colgate Raiders 2022 Patriot League champions as we get you back to the New York studio. All right, Colgate does it again. Patriot League champions and going to the NCAA tournament. Adam Zucker back along with John Rothstein, Chris Walker, and Renee Montgomery. We have a trophy presentation on the way, but uh, it, it is now a school record 15 straight wins, and the Raiders are on to the NCAA tournament. I mean, they came out guns blazing. They did a great job. The bottom line is they just got too far ahead. Navy did a good job fighting back, but at the end of the day, just too many weapons for Colgate. Yeah, and I think we're running out of adjectives for Matt Lang. I mean, Hamilton, New York is not exactly the easiest place to recruit to, but Colgate has now become the flagship program of the Patriot League because of that guy right there, Matt Lango, a disciple of the great Fran Dunphy. What I loved is the balance scoring five players in double digits. That's how you excel because one day you might not have a good game, but you have a lot of people scoring. That's a good team. And look, it got tight. Navy's defense kicked in. It got to six, but then a 16 to six run to end the game. And so the celebration on the home court, which will continue here on CBS Sports Network, trophy ceremony and more as we continue. Inside College Basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Kubota. Together we do more. A uh, moment those kids, they'll never forget. Neither, neither were their dad, and uh, it, it's amazing to see, and Colgate keeps doing it. Patriot League champs as they uh, join the teams who have punched their tickets as well, including uh, Longwood going for the first time this year. Uh, Colgate projecting as a 15 seed according to Jerry Palm. With this offense though, they could be dangerous no matter who they face. Very dangerous. The worst team to face is someone that's coming at you, attacking you from all sides. And so <laughs> when you have five people scoring double digits, that means that you don't just depend on one guy. So when you're scouting a team, it's easy to think, all right, how do we shut you down? But if you have to shut you, him, and him down, it's a different story. Hard, hard, hard to shut John down. <laughs> he, can't shut John. he can't shut the computer down. Only a down. short circuit down once every 368 days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just yeah. over a year, yeah, that's an odd number to pick. Uh, but again, the, what the Raiders, I know they want to they want to join what, what we saw in the past, like with Lehigh and Bucknell putting the Patriot League, you know, in full blast in that spotlight with knocking off a team in the NCAA tournament. Uh, Colgate 0-4 all time, but going for the third straight time. Uh, we are set for the trophy ceremony back in Hamilton, New York. Jenny Dell doing the honors. What a game here, Colgate. You are going dancing. That's what I, like to hear. I would like to introduce the commissioner of the Patriots League. We have Jen Heppel here. Thank you, um, and congratulations to Colgate. Thank you to the Navy and Colgate fans for such an amazing atmosphere tonight. And uh, Coach Langle, back-to-back -back championships. Congratulations. Let's hand that trophy over. It's a heavy one. Wins. You've got the championship one tonight. What have you learned about this team over this last stretch? Just how special a group they are. They're extremely re uh, resilient, uh, extremely mature, extremely focused, uh, and they care deeply about one another. It's a special opportunity to be their coach. Back to the big dance once again. What does that mean for your program? 
Yeah, it's what kids grow up dreaming about, myself included. So these guys work tirelessly for that opportunity. They've had a little bit of a taste of it before. Uh, it's part of why, you know, a couple of them came back for another, another run at it. And so it, it'll be a, another tremendous experience. All right, we have an announcement to make. The MVP is going to be Jack Ferguson. Before we bring, before we bring Jack up here, Coach. All right. Coach, talk to me a little bit about this guy to my left. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think there's ice water in his veins. Like, you know, he just, um, he's a special guy. He's committed to the team. He came off the bench his whole career until this year, and he's, you know, he's just continued to reward us with special play, uh, and it was no different in the, in, the, in the Patriot League Championship. We've come to expect it out of him. All right, thank you for your time. All right, Jack, come over here. Jack, what does it mean to go dancing yet again with this entire squad behind you? Um, I mean, it means a lot. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. I mean, the crowd, crowd was unbelievable tonight. Uh, I think this one was by far the best one. Congratulations, Colgate, your 2022 Patriot League champion. They hoist the trophy and uh, number 13, the sacred number at Colgate, worn by Jack Ferguson as they are on their way once again to the NCAA tournament. As Colgate continues to celebrate its third straight bid, we'll get you caught up on the rest of the action from around the country as we continue on Inside College Basketball Bracket Week, presented by Kubota.